and so you have a video that you're trying to upload to social media and you're getting all these errors that your video is too long and how do you know you know how do you figure out how do you set it up so that you can upload to all the social media platforms because some of them have different limits sure you can upload to YouTube and Facebook you know four hour videos but let's say you're recording like me I'm recording 30 minute videos every day and I'm uploading it to Twitter Pinterest LinkedIn and other platforms and how am I doing that how can you upload your video onto those platforms and I'm not talking about just putting links I'm talking about how to get a video a native video on those platforms how you can do that too but first check this out so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you want to share a video on social media you want to make it you know a native video on the platform but when you try to share it you get these messages and you know let let me just show you what I'm talking about right so if you're trying to share a video like me I record like I said a video every day pretty much and I tr I upload them if I try to upload this this video I did last episode it'll tell me you know on, on Pinterest it'll say this video is too long and can't be uploaded videos can't be longer than 15 minutes so on Pinterest 15 minutes on LinkedIn if I try to upload it it says the file you select is longer than 10 minutes so you got 10 minutes on LinkedIn 15 minutes on Pinterest and if we go to you know uh, Twitter Twitter is going to give you this message It's going to say your video file is not compatible please see tips for uploading if you click on this you end up on this page that tells you that the video uh, must be no bigger than 512 megs in size but your and it can't be longer than two minutes and 20 seconds so what do you do right how do you get your video on the different social media platforms so just to be frank I mean there's lots of different ways obviously to do this and I'm not saying that the way I'm doing it is the only way to do it there's different options out there but let me just kind of walk you through a bit of a process of how this works so for example if you're using a uh, Windows PC you can use a tool called movie maker now movie maker is I don't know if if you can still get it I don't with Windows 10 but there's Camtasia there's a bunch of different software they're all pretty much the same you load up the video and you can see kind of the timeline the 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 sound and you can just go and cut it right you can go to let's say I go here to the well if I want a video that's going to work on Twitter on Pinterest on LinkedIn and on Facebook and on YouTube obviously on Facebook and YouTube uh, there they have no real limits I mean they Facebook has a four hour limit I don't know what the limit is on YouTube but you can upload pretty much anything if you're doing like 30 minute 40 minute video 50 minute videos you're fine on Facebook and YouTube if you want to upload the whole thing I wouldn't recommend uploading the whole thing everywhere because what what's the goal right what are you trying to accomplish online are you trying to just put videos out there and get people to just look at your videos and and you know that's that's one goal to have sure just give them value right give them value tell people what you're about make them uh, teach them things show them things that they need to know just like I'm doing right now showing you this video I could just share the whole thing but me what I do is I trim it to five minutes I should and I actually did I actually did a trim of two minutes but I haven't been uploading on on Twitter maybe I should start but the thing is that the um the the upload that I'm doing is I'm basically taking a part of the video and I'm adding to it an outro if you've been uh, listening to this on audios of course you want to go look at the video uh on my blog post at cis241.jsgagnon.com that's cis241.jsgagnon.com so go check that out there um to see the video and see how I put all this together right now I'm showing you the movie maker in Windows like I said on on the Mac there's iMovie and there's Camtasia you can buy there's different software out there there's other software that I'm sure and even I use FFmpeg from the command line I'm going to show maybe show you that it depends on how much time we have but look so here's the thing so you go and find the place where you want to cut the video off you can see right here it says how long 
where we're at, where we are in the video right so I can go to let's say about two minutes because I want to cut it that works for um Twitter say I wanted to cut it at two minutes right so I go find the two minute mark or something around there right and then I I play it right your yeah, app, app you can see where I'm at and I cut it in a particular position now me I don't I automate it all so I don't worry too much about where to cut it but if you're doing it manually you want to make sure you get the right you know end to your video it's something that you say that that kind of grabs somebody's attention where they're going to want to watch the rest of the video that would be better but but if you're automating it like I'm doing you might you might just go find the the one minute 45 second mark and just cut it there no matter what kind of thing right but what I do is I do a uh, fade and then I add another video to it so what I have if I look at my assets whoops that's the, the OBS stuff if I look at my assets right here if I go to my course income secrets I got some videos I did before which are um, basically what I have is I I just did a screenshot of uh, some text and the text uh, is basically let's see where's the image to be continued reading png there so this oh this is white I think I did a black where is that outro mm, I don't remember where it is it's not it I have a I have a video I should probably have looked but anyways it's going to be the same thing so you look at something like this right you will want to have something like this at the end of your video so that when somebody's watching it they see that oh look at that this video continues right and you want to have maybe something that says something like this you can watch the rest of this video by clicking the link in the description of the comments and then you can add something like this you can also check out my entire content library or ask me anything by using the ask Jean Serge hashtag in the search obviously you put your own hashtag there and you don't necessarily have to have that it's really up to you but the idea is that you have a, some text that somebody can read now I did like I said I have a I don't know where the the original image is it's uh, these are all videos that's just black that's just live I don't remember where it is there's a anyways with the video so then what I did is I recorded myself reading that and I put it inside of a video with the image with me reading it so inside of a tool like uh the like movie maker what you do is you just add the image and then you add the sound and then you you create a video of a certain length the length of the sound is usually what you'd want um but it, it ends up with being something like this right if I look at this um no this see that's the white one where's the I guess this is the outro yeah that's the one here so if I look at this just kind of show you what it looks like mute it so basically I have this at the end of all my videos if you're watching this on uh Twitter on 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 uh, not Twitter because like I said I'm not doing Twitter but if you're watching this on well you if you're watching this or if you're watching this on Pinterest or anywhere else you wouldn't see this because I'm already past the five minutes I cut them at five minutes uh I could probably cut them at nine or something right but I cut them at five minutes and then I add this at the end it says this was part of an episode from course income secrets watch or listen to the rest of this episode by clicking the link in the description or the comments and then it, then I say you can also check my entire content library you ask me anything by using the ask Jean search hashtag in the search more at jeansergegagnon.com that's j-e-a-n-s-e-r-g-e-g-a-g-n-o-n.com so why do I say that and why do I spell out my name because I also use this in my audios so if you're if if you're listening to the iTunes or you're listening to SoundCloud or you're listening to one of my audios you don't see this you don't see this here that says this was part of an episode you don't see the text you just hear so that's why I read it and I have this video so I end up having this video here that's that's a 28 second video of just that text on the screen with a black background and me reading it right that's that's the outro so I have an outro so then what I do is I go to the video and I cut it where I want to cut it I just go to wherever I want to cut it I want to make sure that it's cut uh, at least 28 seconds before where I want <coughs> that other part if it's a two minute then I it has to be at one minute 30 or so right 
so one minute 30 let's say right over here one minute 30 right I'm going to cut it right here and I'm going to go edit and split now I got two parts and I just go on the second part and I press the delete key now I just have a one minute 31 video right so then I go here and I add this to it right over here I just add it there now I have two parts to my video and the total length is one minute 59 seconds so that means it'll fit on a Twitter feed right I can have this video on Twitter after it's uh, done the whole thing I can actually uh, also in in the other tools uh, but in here I can do a um, I can do a fade out at a slow fade out uh yep that's the one I want and I want this one to be a th I don't I don't know if I want to fade in I'll do a fast fade in so now what happens is uh that's the sound right let's do visual effects or animations I should say I want to do an animation where I just transition hey, my friend. this not here at the end oh this one this person, one I want to transition person, person from this there to there first, right so I can do different person. transitions this like this in this tool I can go like this this was where part. it'll just kind of zoom in <clears throat> or I do person, something person. like this, this right was there's more more options person. right down here there's a bunch of different ways to do it I can do something like this person come see this was if I do this now this is what it looks like so if I'm playing it it'll go like this and then the sound will fade down this and then was all of a part sudden, of an episode from the course and start income talking secrets. the other part right so then what I do is I just go to the home and I go uh, save movie I'm just going to say save it as a YouTube and then I'm just going to give it a place and it'll save the new video and that'll be the video I can upload to Pinterest LinkedIn and Twitter so now that's that's the first part right so let's just uh, go back to the <coughs> uh to there so now when I say it has to be a video whoops what happened I must have clicked and now I don't have the whatever it was that I was showing you but anyways let's go back to the Twitter where it's just giving me an error right Twitter gives me an error here and if I go back to this guy I see an error in in here but now I can cancel this and I can upload a video that is one of the shorter videos this one here is a well we can't see let's just do that oops why is not the information where's the details uh -uh. details normally that it shows down here what the, the video is right hmm maybe this no Oh, that's just help for windows I I'm used to seeing on the side there the length of the video and the information about the video but I guess it's not in the upload thing but if I go to here I can actually see the video if I go back to the to this video here this one here that I did yesterday or the day well last Friday I guess uh I can see right on the side here I don't know why the I guess the upload well you can't see it let me move that over here yeah this information that's there right it shows me that how long it is it's a four minute video whereas this original one is a 43 minute video right and <clears throat> this one here says it's four minutes 50 which means I can use it for uh, LinkedIn I can use it for well any anywhere uh, except for Twitter right Twitter needs two minutes less, has to be less than two minutes two minutes 20 seconds but I could have and actually I was creating them before so okay so that's um let's see so that's how you get your video on to your platform now there's other ways to do it and let me just show you how I do it from the command line so I have these tools <coughs> sorry so if you look at the on my computer here my geek this is the geek stuff right you see the file names you see all these files that are here gif and this soundcloud file and this thumbnail and this trim actually if I go back to the folder view you can see all these let's go to view details details there so you see all these let's just show you the file names okay so you see all these things this this thumbnail this is a soundcloud file this uh the gif this is the wave file for uh, upload so I do all these things automatically I just run this script that does this um you might have seen that in another episode I have let's just kind of show you 
and I did that in another episode over here uh where is it I mean I do this right so I basically take a recording and then I it creates a full video and then I run the script that gives me the short video thumbnails and all this and then I <laughs> and then I um <clears throat> and then I create the posts on on YouTube on LinkedIn on Facebook on Pinterest and these are all from you know the original video it's not like a link to YouTube like say because you could for example upload your video to YouTube and then just share the link on LinkedIn and on Pinterest and on Instagram and all that right but the problem with that is on social media sharing links to other platforms outside of that platform is not something that they want you to do so they're gonna they're not gonna show your con your your post to people like on Facebook they don't actually show the content to too many people they'll just not too many people see it so that's why you won't get any engagement you won't get anybody commenting you won't get anybody going to it so that's why you want it to be a native post you want it to be a native post so that's why you got to create a shorter video like this and do it this way right okay so that's um that's that there um let's see what else can I tell you so if you yeah so if you want to create a post and you want to do this all you can certainly do this all you can go into the the the, the video editor you can create a short one I, let's say I, I cancel this change I go control z and then I control z I control z control z okay so now I have the full video again and let's say I want to cut it at the five minute mark I go down to the five minute mark two minutes three minutes five minutes 56 okay right over here five minute 13 431 okay so this is a 431 this is 445 so I remember that outro was 28 seconds right so I gotta go to about the four minute 30 so I cut it right there again I do the same thing I go and edit I split it and I delete that and now I add my outro to it which is over here go back up to here and then I just take that and I add it oh this is the intro sorry the, oh no that's not what I want it's not the it's the um to be continued right here this one here there we go <laughs> so now again like as you, like you can see now I have this guy and what I want to do is I want to have an animation I want it to transition to using. so if I look at this the, I want this one so if I look and then I want to have the video this one here I want him to fade in fast and this one I want him to fade out slowly there we go so now when I when I save it it'll give me a video that kind of my my voice goes down 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 and all of a sudden you see the that that trailer right that like this part here right course income secrets sell that right so that's kind of how you create the five minute and the two minute one right how do I do it I don't do that <laughs> I don't have time to do that especially if I'm posting every single day right so how do I do it well I have these like I said I have these scripts if I uh, let me just show you what the script looks like um octo content I call it octo content it comes from uh, one of my friends Mark Lalonde that I worked with a lot he put together this 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 course on how to do all this showing you how to do the content on all the different platforms how to create the videos how to record them how to have your story stitching your your intro your outro how to do all these different things and how to put them all together and uh, so I've been doing that for a while now for over probably about a year now following what he taught and I automate it because I don't I don't like to do things manually all the time right I like to do something once or maybe not once maybe five to ten times then when I really know exactly what I need to do then I automate it right so I do that for myself but I also do it for you for others right but for now that's why I kind of showing you what this is so if I go to the scripts my octo content prepare this script here is basically a script that let's just kind of make this a little bit bigger so you can see the whole more of it there we go okay so this script here is programming I mean I'm not going to try to tell you how, that you need to learn this obviously you don't you just uh, need to know that it works but what it does 
is it creates a bunch of text files right I showed you earlier that my process is I take the video and I create a blog post and then I create all these different files right so this script here does the thumbnail right does it does it creates the thumbnail the soundcloud thumbnail I don't know if you can kind of tell but sound thumb right to uh, SND um, then it creates the uh, it creates the file out here uh bear well, I guess it's supposed to I'm not sure what that says but uh, and then it converts the I don't know what this bear could is supposed to be maybe bear I don't remember what I meant by that but it doesn't really matter it's, it's a temporary file but it ends up creating a SoundCloud file and then uh then I do the trim I do a trim of the file the white the wave file I create a trimmed two minute video and a five minute video and a 10 minute video which I actually don't automatically do but there are options for me and then that creates all the files now each of these things you know are done a certain way I, I have to have the episode the text to get the text I create my blog post and then I create the text file from that and then the other files the Facebook live post the uh, LinkedIn the LinkedIn post the YouTube post the Pinterest post all these files are all created from the main you know the main the full text right the full text uh, which is basically the blog post it takes all that and strips out the end of it and just adds something like you know if I look at the sound soundcloud one right it goes and says you know the title of it so I can take that and cut and paste it right into soundcloud when I upload and then the text all this text until it reaches a maximum number of characters that I got it set for soundcloud and then it puts the link read more and watch so all I got to do is I just got to take all this and paste it right in SoundCloud when I upload the video right or not sorry SoundCloud's the WAV file when I upload that and if I'm uploading to Facebook it's the same thing I got the title right here that's the title of the video in Facebook and then I got the text to put in the Facebook in the Facebook post right I got this um whole text of the video that I post in the Facebook and I do like it like I do the same thing in Facebook I post the five minute video where it cuts off at the end so that somebody has to if they want to if they're not interested then that's fine it doesn't matter because what I want is somebody who's interested in my stuff so if they are interested they're going to go check out the post where I say it is I'm saying go watch the longer video at jeansergegagnon.com course income secrets 240 how to publish your podcast as an Amazon Alexa skill that's the link to the post right and if you want to if you want to to see more if you like the first five minutes and you're like oh that's that's then you're going to go watch it and if you're not then that's okay because I don't want you right <laughs> you know understand what I'm saying right that's what you want you want people to be interested in your stuff to go see your stuff if they're not interested in your stuff they're just not going to go and that's okay because you're really looking for people who are interested in your stuff but the point is that you can take your long video like this video here is uh, we're at 23 minutes right now that's not going to be that's not I can't post that on LinkedIn that's LinkedIn is a maximum of 10 minutes I can't post it on Pinterest Pinterest is a maximum of is it 15 oh I should have <clears throat> yeah if I go a video here and I take the long one it'll tell me it's longer than 10 minutes I can't post it on 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 LinkedIn if I'm trying to share it on on yeah Pinterest is 15 minutes right um so yeah you won't I won't be able to post this it's too long 24 minutes it's too long it's 15 minutes so so what do I do I don't share on Pinterest <laughs> of course I gotta share I put the link to my YouTube upload like I said no that's not a good idea so you want to create a uh, content specific for now you could you could even do even better and I would love and uh, maybe I will get to that point where I actually have different outros right like this video here uh that says to be continued with voice right now I could have different videos one for Pinterest one for LinkedIn one for Twitter whatever and they could say something like like this thanks for watching on Pinterest 
I really appreciate you this was part of an episode for it so I could have you know something at the beginning that says thanks for watching on Pinterest or thanks for watching on Twitter make people feel that I <laughs> that this is unique to that to that platform right now it's the same on all of them you can check out my entire content library that's really a LinkedIn thing it's not I mean sure you can use it on, on other platforms but it, it was really meant for LinkedIn right <coughs> sorry so that's the that's like I said you create so you take your video you cut it up at a certain spot and then you add this thing at the end to to make people go to the rest and you want people to go to your blog you want to have a place where they go now if you don't have a blog you can always you know tell them to go to I don't know Facebook if you're mainly on Facebook you can make maybe go to your Twitter go to whichever one is your main platform maybe YouTube right I don't really recommend that because you don't own any of those things right if somebody ever uh, if somebody ever does you know flags you as posting spam or whatever because people do that right whether you are or not uh, by the way don't do that but if you are if you're not you can still get flagged as that by some people who see your stuff as spam to them right that might get you blocked get you locked out so you might lose your Facebook account or your YouTube account or your Twitter account or Pinterest or whatever you might lose that so that's why you should have your blog where you have people come to it it's your own blog it's your own place and you have an email list that you're building so these are the things that I do and I'm not saying you have to do them I'm just saying I recommend that it's highly recommended there's all this stuff is all available for you just go look at my content you're going to see lots of posts on how to get your wordpress site set up how to get you know Aweber set up if you want to use Aweber uh how to set up multiple places to post I mean all these things they're all on there and you can take advantage of all these things it's all free training that I got on my blog post so go check that out again like I said and like this um <clears throat> like this video here tells you to go to there right and that's kind of what this is all about all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and I and if you have any questions always reach out I'm here to help if you have specific questions I could do an episode on a specific topic that maybe you're wondering about and until then we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.